Hey guys, what's up? Rob from Quick Geek. In today's video, I'm going to show you something kind of cool. It's how to decide if you should be running um, Google's Search Partners net Network with your Google Ads campaigns. And if so, how to tell if it's working or not, or if it's costing you money and you're, you're wasting money using it. All right, so very quick video today, but this is something cool that a lot of people don't really know how to use. So I'm going to show you right now. So if you go into your Google Ads account, now make sure if you're going to try this, then make sure you at least have 30 days of data so you have a decent data sample to, to go through with this. <clears throat> so this guy has, let's see, one second, 127 leads over the last, let's do the last 30 days. 480 leads in the last 30 days. So 1,410 clicks. So that's a lot of data. All right. So what we're going to do is, in your settings, let me just show you first before we go do it. So most people have search network checked, right? Um, I pretty much have it for every client we work on. It's very rare that I turn it off because it, it does work well. And obviously, if you watch my videos, you know you should always have display network turned off if you're doing lead generation or you're going to get crushed with uh, a ton of clicks and no leads. At least for the lead generation campaigns we build, I, I never use this ever. All right, so <clears throat> search networks checked. How to tell if it's working or not, or if it's wasting your money. Go into keywords, show all of your keywords. Come up here to segment. Come down here, network with search partners. And now it's breaking down all of your keywords based on if they converted from search, Google search, or search partners. There's a difference. Google search, someone types something in the Google search bar. Search partners, it can be a a partner uh, search engine that feeds Google or it could be a website it could be a lot of different things and you can get all the statistics from both of these so you can compare and contrast if it's uh, wasting you money or getting you leads so you can see here we got a couple of leads from search partners for this one keyword Google or I'm sorry uh, car detailing right obviously nowhere near the 90 leads that search network sent us but still six dollar leads affordable uh, you know that looks good so we got no leads here from search partners, two leads here, and you kind of just comb through and you can actually export this data into a, 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 a uh, sheet and sort it. It's a lot easier, but just for this video, guys, I'm showing you how to do this. Um, and you can just kind of cruise down and just see all of your statistics from each one. Now, obviously, Google search is going to be what's driving most of your stuff, but as long as you're not wasting a ton of money, you've seen here like a couple clicks, one, one, one. They're not, it's not killing you. And it's sending you leads. So this is something why I just leave it on. Um, but I have seen it send a lot of really shitty traffic before, and we had to turn it off. And that was actually in the, uh, what niche was that? I think that was a real estate space. We had an agent or something like that, and it was, he was getting hammered with terrible traffic from search partners, and we turned it off. But yeah, just a cool little tip, quick video. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, drop them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next week.